Why is buying a house so scary? That's what we're going to be talking about today is why is buying a house so scary and what you need to know so that you're not afraid. So if you're new to the channel, I'm a mortgage lender licensed in 48 states. My team's one of the top purchase teams in America. And you can always call me at 707-478-0637. Okay, so here's the thing. First of all, no one's really taught how to buy a house. That's what makes it scary. It's this huge purchase. There's a lot of emotion tied to it because it's where you're gonna spend the bulk of your life. Whether it's for a short term or a long term, we all spend more and more time in our homes every single day, right? We saw that in COVID in certain states specifically, okay? There's a lot of emotions. There's also a lot of expectation, right? People have set in their head, this is what I should have. This is what I deserve. This is what my friends have. This is what my mom says I should have. My dad says I shouldn't do this. There's a lot of pressure and expectation, okay? And then you've got channels like mine, right? And I think that unfortunately, some of my videos do contribute to the fear, but they're from a good place. It's because my theory on everything is look, if you know what you're getting into, if your eyes are wide open, if you do your homework, if you do your research, it's not scary. And most importantly, you're prepared, okay? So let me tell you about the home buyer that I think should be scared, okay? Let me tell you their home buying process. Bob and Jane, they wanna buy a house, okay? They go to a couple open houses, they meet a nice person at the open house, Barbara. Barbara shows them some houses, they like one. Oh my gosh, we love this house, Barbara. Barbara says, you need to call my lender, Ricky. Call Ricky now. They call Ricky, Ricky goes, oh yeah, we can buy this house, right? They give Barbara a pre-approval letter and they're in contract, okay? I am scared for them. <laughs> Here's why. I don't know how much business Barbara does. No one's read her reviews. We don't know if she's an expert or if she's someone that never sold a house before. We don't know if Barbara has reviews that say that she sells terrible houses or lies. We don't know anything. There was no research done here. Then we went straight to Ricky. Well, Ricky gave Barbara a pre-approval letter, didn't talk about rates, fees, or closing costs, didn't talk about payment, and suddenly they're in contract, okay? They've had no education, none, none. These are the people I worry about. These are the people who end up having the horror stories because they're just like, oh, found it. Right, okay, well, then they're in contract. What's gonna happen next? Oh, you should use my home inspector, Bobby. Bobby's gonna go out and take care of everything. So they get the home inspection, appraisal comes in. Great, they own a house. Okay, cool. And you're like, well, Jen, that wasn't very scary. Guys, it may not be, look. Barbara may be an expert real estate agent. Ricky may be an amazing lender that got them a terrific deal and they may actually be comfortable with the payment. Who knows, right? Maybe. And Bobby may be a really good home inspector. Cool, great. In that case, they won. They won and it was so easy. Okay, but let's go the other way. Let's say Barbara's not a very good agent. Maybe she sells two houses a year. Let's say that Ricky gives Barbara a kickback or Ricky's just not a very good lender or doesn't have competitive rates. Let's say that when they actually see the payment, they realize they can't really afford the house, but they're too far down and they already have their life savings in earnest money, so they can't back out. Let's say that Bobby is one of those inspectors that just goes through the house and goes, yep, Yep, mm -hmm. even if it's falling down. Well, in that case, they just bought a money pit where A, they're gonna be house poor, B, they're gonna hate their life, and C, they are gonna be dealing with nonstop repairs and headaches, right? That's the other side, okay? So you're like, Jen, where are you going with this? I'm going with it this way. Buying a house can be very scary if you don't do your homework and you're not prepared. Like anything in life, right? In order to be successful at anything, you need to do some level of research and you need to be prepared. Buying a house is no different. So I've done tons of videos on what to look out for everything else, but the short version is this. Research your real estate agent. Don't just trust a recommendation. Look at reviews, go on Zillow, see how many houses they sold. Do not click any button that says tour a house. Anyone who's doing that, is giving a chunk of their commission to these 
platforms and they're generally inexperienced agents, okay? You're gonna research the agent, you're gonna review the data, you're gonna interview a few, and then you're gonna work with an agent. But before you even do any of that, you're gonna select your lender. Once again, you're gonna look at reviews, you're gonna have conversations, who's gonna to talk to you, who's gonna help you plan, you're gonna get pre-approved, you're gonna get fully underwritten, you're gonna go through all the numbers so that you're comfortable because the most important part is being comfortable with the money. Everything else can be fixed, but if you're not comfortable with the money, you're never gonna be comfortable in the home. It's that simple, okay? So you've done your research, done your research, you've got your A team, guess what we're gonna do with that inspector? We're gonna research some more, that's right. We're gonna do some research, we're gonna look at reviews. If you're deciding between a couple, you're gonna interview them, you're gonna go to that home inspection. You're gonna bring a tablet of paper and a pen, and while the inspector's walking around, you're gonna walk around not with them, away from them, and take notes. What do you see? What are you concerned about? What questions do you have? And then when the inspector's done, they're gonna show you what they came up with, and you're gonna ask about everything you saw. You know why? This is a big purchase. And if anybody makes you feel weird about that, they're broken. Like, I, I was trying to think of a nice word, I'm sorry, I had a much more crass word, but they're just terrible people because this is a lot of money right? And you're not asking for anything big in any of these situations. You want to know your numbers. You want to know your payments. You want to make sure you're working with an expert real estate agent. You want to go through the house and you want to make sure that you understand, hey, like I saw this, is this a problem or not? That's not you being annoying or not trusting the inspector. That's you being potentially the person who's going to have to write a check for every single problem of that house. Okay, so it's important that you find this team. If you find this team, fantastic. It doesn't have to be scary. But if you just go in, you know, eyes closed, ah, I want a house. Well, that's where a lot of the horror stories come from. But then again, there's some good stories from that too. So bottom line, don't be afraid. If you're already watching this video, you've probably already gone down some rabbit holes, so you're doing your research. So just do your research, do your homework, Make sure you're comfortable with the money and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching.